Hello everybody and welcome to Critscast. This is the 2018 Grand Final of Ready Steady Pan. My name is Agro and joining me today is Beta. Beta, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. I've already had to turn down the volume due to all the panning going on, so... This is going to be great. Yes. I, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Looking forward to the sound of pans ringing in my ears continuously for the next, ooh, I don't know, hour, maybe 30 minutes until I lose consciousness. How are we ever going to get through this ordeal? I do not know. I'm hoping this is going to be some sort of learning experience because, as it is, I have never, ever, ever paid attention to Ready Steady Pan. It's just kind of always been this meme thing <laughs> that I'm not aware of. I assume. I, I yeah. don't think there's any, any, uh, any, any concern. It is definitely a meme game, a <laughs> meme opportunity at every turn, every pan. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, just because I am who I am, I, I just cannot stop look i'm gonna be looking for like who's gonna be like the, the fragging classes who's gonna like what kind of loadout's gonna be <laughs> something worth oh there's like the banners on the soldiers that's interesting so so that's a thing i'm i still have like no idea what exactly the unlock rules are i as far as i can tell everything that can that heals is basically banned except for milk i think i saw some milk yep. early on but like Heavy is banned because he's fat and overpowered. So that's good. <laughs> that alone makes me like this game mode. So I'm all yep, uh, We can have some bonk, bit of cola, mad milk. Uh, what else can you fling at? Anyone, anything you can fling at someone else? A bit of Jurati in there. there. There's plenty of fun. It's not just restricted to pans. I think they might have relaxed the rule set a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I was worried about. Like obvious things like heavy heavies giving sandwiches and then of course just being tanks at the same time. And like engineers could build dispensers and stuff. But anyway, we're gonna go live. I recognize a few of these names. I I have like a friend on each team, so I don't know who to root for. I, I guess I'll root for Kraken because he's Danish. But other than that, I have no dog in this fight. But this should be good fun. So we are going live into this first mid. I it's I don't think that's a normal fun they've done to mid. I'm seeing a great deal of clumping. I'm expecting the clumping, the clumpers to win this one. Whoever can sort of get together. I see a bit of milk being thrust in the face. Of yeah, Diddy. that's. Yeah, milk should be a good counter to the clump, right? But the <laughs> currently we just see demo man just jumping in. Sorter comes in as well. Nice flank there from Liko. Just jumping in there, getting a nice flank on. So currently, the blue team is winning this. Uh, I think uh, the silence of the pans is blue. I could be wrong on that one. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm getting confirmation that that is indeed correct. Sword is just jumping around. That's Hoy. He's on my friendly, so I'm just going to cheer for him as well. And <laughs> Snowy will get taken down. Hoy has found uh, and, and a demo man, but man, these soldiers, they're so difficult to actually track down, aren't they? But look at that. Yeah, I, I the assume soldiers, the soldiers definitely have mobility. That's the thing that they're, they're, they're playing on. They've got a little bit of a higher hit points. They've got a lot of mobility. They're all using this uh, the, the, the sticky jump, no, the, the, the rockets, whatever it's called, the, the stripy orange one. Uh, the, 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 the rocket jumper that only used for rocket jumping is called the rocket jumper. But uh, anyway, we now have a full on attack here. We see a demo man in here surrounded by four enemy gamers, but no one's actually looking at him. And he just kind of slips away. That's kind I of incredible. <laughs> you got have that. noticed that Blue have actually capped it, and they 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 seem to be holding it pretty well. Although a uh, curse of the cast, there. As soon as I say it, uh, the Red have dropped in there, finally getting some time on the clock. But is yeah. it going to be enough? I don't know. There's some milk coming in from this scout, but he's very weak. Scouts die in two pan hits, so it, it's it's a dangerous world for a scout out there. They obviously have the mobility and they have the milk as well, and I think milk is the only healing allowed in this game mode. I could be wrong. Like, there might be some banners that you can use. Like, oh yeah, so Conch is allowed as well. So, But that's a, a lot more difficult to, to make work than some milk. But Red almost has this capped again, but <laughs> people are just running away from the point. There we go. Finally, the demo man's on the point, but he gets immediately jumped by a scout into, uh, I want to call him explosive class, but that's not really applicable, is it? And there we go, alive. is no longer alive. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly names there. Yeah. 
I see Bees was almost taken out and he's run off to the med pack. These med packs incredibly, uh, incredibly important and, and the use of them and when they get uh, utilized is going to be uh, intrinsic. As you say, so very few heals. Oh, a bit of bit of piss gets uh, striked out there uh, on the red demo man. Uh, he is he is uh, full on covered in it, uh, getting attacked by Bull Z. Yeah, Spence tries to jump away, but he gets hit by a pan and just craters. Uh, so that it's gonna feel bad. But actually, we have a banner coming in here. That's blue team, and now they are just not taking a whole lot of damage, but. Can Hoy get away? No, he cannot. He just tried to jump away, but there's just too many enemies. Blue will recap this. Red, they're kind of holding back right now. I think they're trying to just wait for some respawners before they go in again, but man, uh, Bees is just in there. So is the, another scout. Uh, probably a bit too over aggressively there as this move forward. They're going to have to go back. And now, Red, they do have all of the respawners again. So here they come. Just going to fly in there <laughs> with the soldiers first. And then uh, everyone else follows up. That was a five-man attack there by the red team. Oh my, oh my goodness, man! A bit of piss. They clustered. They clumped too hard. And they all got covered in the pee. And they're all getting taken down. Yeah, that was an incredible body. Actually, somehow, red is still winning out. Just the, that soldier just being so tanky. It's getting that done. I do kind of like how the, the banner does not make the soldier take, like, more pan hits you know you go up to 220 but that's still uh, only four pan hits but anyway this is such a close fight this uh, soldier is pretty much the only one alive but here comes some re respawners in here to help him alive will be dying once again single demo man in here now he comes hoy this is just back and forth they just keep on trading kills and as Girardi comes in there just catches out that one soldier that should Reduce it to three pan hits for a soldier, maybe? I'm not even sure how these things <laughs> the, math out. How the numbers tank out, I don't know either. But you notice that all of the action, all of the action is really around mid. And why would you be anywhere else? I mean, there's no point sort of standing at the background and trying to get a snipe off. You can't snipe with a fish. Actually, the, the, the kind of interesting thing about Viaduct for, for this purpose is that there's no he good health kit near middle. So if you want to get a med kit, and that's the only healing available, then you have to stay, go away from mid. But oh my god, look at this, Liko is on a 2 or 3 kill streak right now, and then he just jumps away. Hoy barely survives the surfs onto a med kit, nice job by him, but he's gonna come back in. I do not know how Hoy survived, that was ridiculous, he was covered MP, every opportunity to take him down, and still he managed to survive. This is it, coming up to the nose here, can Red stop them? And we've been calling them Red this entire time! Because, because the team name is impossible! <laughs> it is implausible! I oh, this I one scout is just holding off an entire team, but no, wow, that's... <laughs> he was doing that. well! Yeah. So well! Perfect victory, actually, and everyone's alive on blue for the, the end of this round. That's that's pretty nice. Oh, at the end there, they, they take it pretty comfortably. So, uh, okay, do, do you want to give this yeah, team I, name I, a, a I'm gonna shot? try it, I'm gonna try it, standing out here. Uh, it's Hoopstilivliatnsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsdsd
behoove the bells pan? No, it's something like the silence, silence of the pan. Silence oh, yeah, it's of the some pan. movie reference. <laughs> I seem to recall Science of the Plans have played this game before. I'm pretty sure they've been in finals before. Like, we were mentioning before whether or not there was actually any kind of uh, meta to this. And I think if there is ever going to be meta displayed, it's got to be by Silence of the Plans. They've been here before. They know how this game is played. And they know how to take victory. Yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting right now. If you just look at the scores, it's very difficult to actually see who's better. Right, like uh, the classes, there's not a, a dominant class where you can just see, oh, scouts are on top and red team, and then on blue it's a soldier and a demo man. So that doesn't really compute there. So we see another point switch here. We do see bees maybe getting ready to go in. He should probably wait for his team, right? Uh, but now he's out there and spans. He doesn't want to wait. He's actually kind of forced his hand, so he's going to try to jump in now. And they just desperately try to catch all of these soldiers flying around. Just a long chase. We, we need some uh, Monty Python music, basically, for this chase thing Any going on. theme tune, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I see that Hoyer's like out of place again. He's going out on his own. He's, he's doing a one-on-one -on -one battle. And he wins! Victory Pan there! Fantastic! And Liko's uh, now up on a 5k. He's uh, definitely topping these scores. And there we go, that's gonna make it six. Can he get a seven? <laughs> just kind of weirdly poke going around trying to catch the soldier. I see soldiers actually gets out. And Kraken goes down. Purple gets a double kill on Scout. Can he get another one? Uh, I don't know whether you caught that there. There was a good cluster. The, the, the sniper did his work with his job here. So managed to capture three players at once. That was brilliant play. And it, it encouraged the rest of his team to come in and, and make the most of it. Yeah, Blue, they're currently feeding quite a bit, uh, I'd say. The size of the pans, they're just kind of coming in one by one, and then they're getting taken down. So I, I think they need to just kind of cool the brakes a little bit here. Maybe wait a bit, because as it is right now, they're just losing people one by one. There's a single demo man on the point, but he's just going to get swarmed and taken down. And we see, if, I think finally Blue uh, sort of in, but no, now the demo, demo man just jumps in. And he's going to poke on top of the, the sniper's head and get taken down and... Currently, Red, they're just doing such a great job yeah. just uh, constantly picking people off that overextend. They're going to just continue to do that right now. It's, it's forming been so these little cups. Died. Yeah, exactly. They're forming these little cups. Ones, twos, threes. Sorry, twos and threes just hanging together, being really effective. And I think uh, the reason why I've been focusing on Hoy this whole time is very distracting. He'll go out there and he'll basically encourage everybody to, to come chase him. Chase me, chase me, he cries uh, from the mountaintops. Now it's very, very close. They almost won that one with, without Blue getting really a, a play, a say in this game whatsoever. Uh, Blue have come back and take, taken, retaken the points. And now it's time for their time ticker to tickle down. Yeah, but look at that, the turnaround right now. It's basically the exact opposite of what we saw before. See, Purple, the only man out right now, desperately chasing people around. But uh, I, I think everyone from the blue team just turned around trying to chase him but he's still alive it's very difficult to catch a scout and lay him to death and uh, <laughs> as he's just yeah just distracting behind lines he's taking zero damage and here comes the banner actually poised somehow managed to build that i completely missed it and now they come in they've landed uh, some pretty decent mad milks i think it's kind of difficult to see everything's shiny yep. and glowy right now but uh, they are definitely winning this fight they're up two players but uh, yeah they're just continuing to trade but some nice uh, kills coming in here they're very weak players right now but here comes elon musk i don't know if that's the real name he wants to go sure by it is. yeah <laughs> and looks like yep they're finally gonna get it and there we go one to one come back baby that was brilliant. I mean, you talk about Elon Musk, he's, he's not even in employment anymore. Uh, so I guess this is what he's been doing with his spare time and probably why he's lost his job as a CEO. Yeah, and it wouldn't be out of character for him to build a real life sticky jumper either. So he's probably just taking pointers and getting good ideas at this point, you know? The, the sticky company. You heard it here first. <laughs> sticky situation indeed. Would that be... Hey, I want to see the insurance. But anyway, there's one blue player behind lines, and I think that has kind of spread things out. It's very interesting to see how people are just flying around, trying to basically see if they can gain a flank on someone. Two scouts uh, team up on another scout on the other team, but no, <laughs> scouts are just the first ones to die, it seems. And uh, currently blue, they're definitely ahead, but there is this demo man, fully healthy, 
going to come in here, but the pirate no, really flies not. away. Absolutely not. I mean, you, you see, you do the, you do the occasional uh, run around and try and distract the team, um, and, and that's great, but it means that there's one less person in your little group of clustering attackers. Hoy! Oh my goodness me. Does that count as an air shot with a pan? Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it does. absolutely does. <laughs> Oh no, Hoy just uh, continues to rampage around here with these pans. He's doing really well right now. And uh, <laughs> nice little flank there from Divi. And uh, Liko's in there as well. Oh, there's two players behind lines. Uh, Liko is kind of weak. But uh, I'm sure his banner is somewhat close to being done. I, I assume it's, it's pretty quick, right? I can't remember if it was like 600 damage or something you need to do, but that's not that many pans. Pat, well, and, uh, especially if you're covered in P as well. Yeah, and here comes the banner. It's gonna just rally the blue team forward. And red, they're not just running; they're actually fighting it. Uh, that's a little brave, I think. And, yeah, brave here we or go. Stupid. Who can tell? Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta big dig it. <laughs> and why not, indeed? <laughs> yeah, they. It's it. It seems relatively even, just uh, looking at the the players alive tab, but. Blue, they're definitely more cohesive right now. They're just clumping up really badly, and that that is working out for them. But now they got mad milked a bit, so that that is the uh, the sacrifice you make, All right? It's a nice flank there from Ballsy coming in there, and there's some really weak players that these two scouts can pick off. I really feel like that's where scouts shine in this game. But oh my god, everything's just mad milk to peed on. It's kind of madness right now. <laughs> The school it's, playground, ridiculous. <laughs> it's just your your good old English <laughs> playground. It's, uh, <laughs> He's covered in milk. Yeah. Maybe that's just too much information about my childhood. Man, all right, blue. They have they are slightly behind on time, but uh, they're just kind of gathering up right now. It seems so. Some players just flying in there from the red team. And uh, <laughs> I love how everything just tends to turn into a 1v1. There we go, Liko finds the 1v1 going on and jumps in and makes it an unfair 2v1. So he takes down the soldier. That's what you want to see, basically. I guess that's why Sniper is just so very represented. Right? Like, it's not something you use too much. Because he, he has no mobility, so he can't kind of leverage any... <laughs> Any mobility see, or that, that, that jar of piss when it does when it does charge up to a hundred percent when he does finally get it he, he is a lethal combatant uh, it is all about the supports in this game it, it's not about the 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 ones v ones it's it's how much milk can you get on the field how much uh, piss can you get on the field and and how do you make use of those banners and here I was thinking it was all about making the most annoying sound in the world as much as possible but eh, I'll, I'll just defer to the the expert as uh, we see red the beginning to slowly cap this point out but there's a lot of blue players around looks like they're finally getting overwhelmed there we go We're all dying at the same time bees is going to be the only one alive i don't know where he slid along okay he died as well yep so, nice recap there Absolutely, uh, Red definitely holding this. Hoy is a little bit further forward than the rest of his team. I'm not sure he, he wants to stand out there on his own. Uh, just distracting, maybe? Yeah, like we, we've seen some scouts run behind and just completely scatter an entire enemy team, right? So it can definitely work if you're just mobile enough. Soldiers eventually run out of mobility and so does Demo Man even slower. But uh, yeah, here we go. Red's kind of on point. Just trying to stick together as much as possible, but there are players behind. We actually see uh, Alive up on the high ground, just kind of keeping an eagle eye, making sure to call out any incoming bombers. And he will get them, <laughs> so the demo man just pencil jumps high into the skybox. And uh, he will eventually get taken down by Purple, leveraging his uh, superior speed right there. And they, then he will do it again. So just a really great play there by him, but a jar piss comes flying in. Now there's uh, a lot of vulnerable players around. Gonna get two shot right here, and here comes the double bomb in. And it's actually a little bit dangerous to be too close together because when you're close to your teammates, melees just don't register. It, yep. it just targets your own team over enemy players for some reason that Valve can probably not even explain themselves. But Blue, they almost managed to recap it. Uh, time is about to run out, but uh, oh, there we go, they do get the cap out. Uh, good job. I see Liko right, using funny. his banner. He seems to be on his own while he's using it. People are coming towards him. Uh, now it's actually run out. 
Was that the best use of Banner? Well, I don't know, but he managed to capture the point, so maybe it's good enough. Yeah, the time was running out, so he pretty much had to do something, and... You know, if he can just stand there and force everyone else to walk away from him while he's capping the point, well, that's a success in my book. So yeah, I'd say that was a pretty good uh, use of that. About 30 seconds remaining for blue, 16 for red. And red, they're not trying to recap it, but there's basically always someone on it, at least just contesting it. Scouts can run around and really buy time there. And it's now a 2 on 2 on point. It's, it's Demo and a soldier. Like uh, a was... dance that's going on right on midpoint, sir. A deadly dance. A deadly dance of pan. Oh, and Hoy! Wow, that was really well played there by Blue. Just uh, excellent kiting going on. Everyone was so weak, but nobody ever really died because it just kept on retreating, and then a second one came in from the front or the back. Just really made sure to get there. So now there's just a single red demo man on the point. There we go, he's joined by some teammates, but now everything's just happening on the point. There's uh, the Pyro flies and tries to see if he can get any damage done. He, he could not do with that. But uh, the banner coming in, that's banner. probably going to be GG for this round, right? There's just no Unless way. Unless something remarkable happens, and no, it, no, it will not. That was a pretty darn good use of a banner. Yeah, and Liko is going to... He's on a 7k right there, so it's absolutely beastly. The, again, it's kind of interesting to see how, how Liko is just really doing so much work on blue team on, on soldier whereas uh, on red team it's purple and snowy on the scouts that have just consistently been like uh, the most effective players so yeah it's just different talents i guess right yeah absolutely i mean the, the, the one thing that is definitely true about this game this particular play style is it does come down to what your team can make of it i mean, the, the the meta is whatever you tell it the meta should be and if your team is more cohesive with a couple of incredible scouts uh, or a couple of insane soldiers, then that's what you should go for. Yeah, Liko's, uh, he just jumped behind lines, one at 1v1, chased down some players, and his team capitalized on it really well. So he is just uh, causing all sorts of ruckus right now. And uh, there we go, he's on a med kit as well. Just uh, if you get onto the enemy's side and steal their med kit, that's probably worth it. All right, that's a, that's a lot of pan hits It's going into you. And uh, here we go, Red's gonna just all dive onto the point, and uh, they've actually pushed uh, a lot of players back. Pyro will get taken down by the scout, and uh, now <laughs> he's got, uh, they're so slippery. It's, uh, it almost <laughs> reminds me of like uh, the scout tag maps <laughs> that were around, <laughs> where you had to chase each other around, and you could like uh, hit them to tag them. That's almost what's going on sometimes. The thing is, you, you, you've got to get the kill. You can't leave them with, oh, that was just a perfect two, two scouts, oh, one soldier, each taking a bit of life. But you, you've got to get the kill. You've got to finalize. You can't let these guys run away, else they'll run away, pick up some med pack, and then be back in again. You, you've got to finish them off. Yeah, indeed. They can just run away and get those med kits. But uh, now we see a big fight here on the middle. Blues definitely has uh, the most presence, but they they get milked. Or maybe that was a yeah. Blue got milked pretty su substantially there. So any kind of prolonged fight should actually favor red a little bit, even though there's a lot more blue players. And now it's just these scouts running around, just expertly doing so many hits. Uh, look at this, just jumping in, hitting a, a pan or two, and then just getting back out. Just uh, super slippery and annoying as scouts should be. And uh, here comes another milk onto a scout. And there we go, he cannot dodge Snowy forever. And Red has actually won this fight that uh, was looking so good for Blue. A demo man comes in from the side and sort of from the top, but I think Red will eventually win this fight right. and get middle. Absolutely. I was starting to worry then that Red might not actually have the opportunity to get any points on middle at all. I thought it was going to go entirely Blue. I'm glad to see that that does not turn out to be the case. And they're holding a very aggressive stance now. Practically spawn camping, although I do see can't spell uh, pan without spam or spam without pan. Uh, got got in too deep. Purple just won like the most crazy one v one against Ballsy. The scout v scout, and he was on like on 15 HP. And then you just like four times in a row just won. Like just darted in there and nailed the the, the scout pan duel. So great job by Purple, just showing why he's top uh, scoring for his team for sure. He's gonna find a scout, gets a triple pan onto him somehow, still alive. That's Ballsy again. Please show Ballsy some uh, some some mercy. Nope, no mercy for him. He will get the pan. 
Quite impressed seeing Snowy running around the entire time there with almost no health whatsoever. The single, the slightest breeze or a pan would have knocked him out, and yet he still managed to survive uh, for a good 10, 13 seconds. Yeah. I, I want to see the map talk for this, to be honest. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go in there. We're going to pan him. Let's go. <laughs> Do what I've got. I'm going to use it. Yeah. All right. Hand in the huddle. One, two, three, pan. Let's go. Booze was doing his thing on his own and he paid the price for it. You cannot go up against these guys on your own and survive. Having said that, I'm seeing Hoy covered not only in uh, a big jar of yellow, but also a big jar of white. Nobody takes advantage of it. Hoy lives. Yeah, it's the kindergarten shower. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you were making up entire terms. Yeah, it's uh, you know, if you don't know anything about anything, you just make things up, right? That's pretty much how it works. That's my job. <laughs> yeah. All right, so a pretty nice uh, Gerardi comes in here. Two players are covered in P, and uh, they are desperately running away. One of them is a sniper. He cannot run very fast. His legs don't carry him very far. Blue will recap it, and they're even chasing out a lot of red players as much as they can. Hoy is very weak. He's kind of waiting for a med kit. He's going to go back to spawn, it seems, and the fight... The sniper, yeah. Snipers, yep. they just eventually go down once, uh, like, they're alone in a fight. They're just the worst melee class there is in yep. this format. Definitely, yeah. It had one job there. Uh, just, just supply the P, and uh, once that job is done, it may as well, may as well not be there anymore. <laughs> it almost seems like it. It's just... He either has too little HP or he's too slow or both. So uh, anyway, see Red, they're trying to recap it here. Blue's time is definitely running out. Looks like Red will be able to get this one. This one demo man is in here, but no scout. Okay, there we go. Finally, a single scout's alive. And uh, a pretty good Gerard. He's going to hit three players. I No, that was a Mad Milk. He's going to hit a bunch of players. Uh, Ballsy once again running for his life. And <laughs> nope, he's going to find nope. Snowy. And... Uh, now it's going to be a matter of can they hold on to this point because if Blue capture this, there's only 8 seconds remaining until they win. Yeah, Blue have a very good reputation for coming in at the last minute and making making Red suffer. It's a yeah. lovely little confrontation going on there. Liko is is going out with the with a pan. I don't know what I can say. Of course he is. It's all he can use. Yeah, it's a, it's a bold strat. He's just whipping out the pan, and it's only going to use the pan. I, I like it. That's a, it's a very unique strat. And uh, we'll see how it catches on. But uh, now we have another fight here. Blue, they're coming in. They want that cap point. But the banner comes in for red. Red, they're definitely numerically disadvantaged right now, but they do have the banner to work with. And they're actually yep. chasing really hard. That's kind of surprising to me. Hoy is just smelling blood. But somehow he's winning this. He's, oh my god, he's like 1v3 people. I think he might have just just benefited there from the uh, the melee glitching out in close quarters for teammates but that was incredible by Hoy just absolutely taking people down this is definitely the closest we've seen it so far it's down to 0-0 zero, zero. whoever manages to cap this point is going to be the winner of this round and there's a big banner they need to take down this soldier it's alive and he's just uh, actually living up to his name and he will get it and we're gonna go 2-2 two to two, and it's gonna be a final decider round to take it all down I don't Can think it could it? be any more exciting than this. Really, we're going down to the nail on just this first map. It's extraordinary seeing how much these teams want to take this first map for the psychological attack of it all. Elon Musk shooting out there, overstepping the middle mark. Uh, and I think he's uh, he's now circling back. What's, what's going on? He's on his own. He's on his own uh, going up against Lika. Five, four, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Elon Musk is going to come in here, he's flying in, he's going to try to land those air pans, but he is not quite able to do it. There we go, Liko is going to kill himself. Nobody kills Liko but Liko. You know, that's uh, that's some respect right there. But now we just have the pan mayhem on middle, and uh, Red definitely won out on that one. Extra Solo is alive. I think he's looking to Girardi everyone on point. He likes there to catch goes. two players. Couple of, couple of players uh, caught in that P. Storm. Interestingly enough, Hoy gets peed and then immediately jumps the enemy team. That seems kind of backwards. <laughs> it's really you jump away, right? But, you just uh, thought that. I say this. This map style is entirely this. This game is its own definition. Yeah, you know, I will just. 
I, I don't want to criticize people too much because I'm completely clueless. But at the same time, I also like to think I'm smarter than everyone. So I'm just going to pretend I'm smart. At the uh, ooh, actually, uh, the legal's getting in here. <laughs> oh my god, destroyed by alive, <laughs> just uh, nails him. And then uh, alive even like looks DV. Like he lands on his head, holds him in place, and he gets panned down by a scout. That was a that was a beautiful play by Elon Musk right there. Absolutely double tagging these players. I see the midpoint is kind of empty at the moment. Bees is uh, attacking in from the right. Uh, no, no, he's going in from the mid now. It looks like the entire team is going to be confronting everybody else uh, on this midpoint again, hovering around a uh, big med pack. Yeah, lives. And <laughs> coming in, Snowy actually hitting a lot. There's a single soldier. I think he's trying to build a banner, but he will only find himself joining the respawn queue. The, now we see Red there. They're kind of trying to chase down this scout, but oh my god, Snowy, he can't hit. He can't hit. There we go. Finally takes down DV. Well he's dodging so. his little heart out. Absolutely. Uh, Kraken is uh, he's, he's, he's escaped onto the enemy team. Done that thing where he steals the med pack you were talking about earlier. Yeah, now he's going to steal the other one. No, he's just going to go straight back into middle here. And, uh, and <laughs> meanwhile, the Assorter actually trying to steal the other med kit, but Elias there to deny him that. But the Assorter, it's kind of fun, funny to see when they run out of rockets, they just become so much worse. And Alive <laughs> definitely trying to get away, just getting smorked down by the scout. <laughs> just absolutely no mercy there just uh, you can see him just definitely trying to reload his rockets trying to get away but there's just no running away from that scout menace but look at that the mad mill comes in for red and the uh, elon musk is now on a six kill spree and uh, now he has more milk to just go he's uh, fighting three players uh, he cannot quite win that no glitching of the weapons there so uh, single soldiers back in I wonder whether these guys have practiced like, the whole the two-on-one experience. It's a very difficult game. It's different when you're you're using melee weapons. As you said earlier, you, you've got to you've got to do like you've got to keep space between the players. You've got to make sure that it all works out. Otherwise, you you're wasting those wax. Yeah, and of, of course, there's the whole like melee, like seesaw back and forth melee fight tactics, right? Like that's just uh, it's a pretty simple. So, right, like I think most people move forward and then they move to the side and then they move back, kind of in very, like a little bit faster than that. But that's been kind of how you do for many years. I've never known that that was the thing you're supposed to be doing. I've just been doing the, the running up and running backwards thing, the sidestep. So, you see, this is why you're the pro player. It's yeah, the yeah, it's because when you uh, like melee has this really wide range basically, and when you side swipe, it actually increases kind of the. I don't want to say the range, but kind of like. The side. If there's something in front of you and you side swipe, you're really likely to hit it, basically. So if you're close, you will hit them when you do the side swipe. And when you do the side swipe, you kind of want to move to the side a little bit. Uh, I have played a lot of double mixes where I played medic, and when you do that, you want to win the duel. But look at that blue, completely wiping red. This is a pretty yeah. rare occurrence in this game. That was incredible. That was just and that was the three on three. Everybody having like a one on one individual match on that three on three mid, and and in the same instance entire red team just wiped oh my god extra solo just won a 1v1 against the soldier it's a uh, it's always good when the sniper does that he is faster than the soldier so he can kite them but it's very dangerous because you just die in two hits and the two scouts just team up on him afterwards there's no chance for him to survive he was on 65 health and look at that Lico will get in here and get snowy now it's a demo man and a soldier versus a soldier and a scout but two soldiers come in here make it unfair We'll have a recap coming out. Now it's down to 20 seconds for the team, which name must not be named. As Still in the yes. Yeah. Yes, that team. If they win this map, I will give it a shot. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm now, I'm, now I'm voting for them. No, no, no. Blue, they, they got to come in here. Yeah, they're going to get it. They, they sort of does get uh, mad milk right there. But uh, yeah, look at this. They, they know they're going to win. It's easy, easy. Oh boy. And now it's almost a wipe as well. The devil man jumps in there. He knows he has to get it. And he actually gets it. Uh, slightly. But uh, I know. No. That's a minute. Yep. A uh, minute on the clock. And. Uh, so all they have to do is cap to win. Hoy is really out on his own again. But nobody's falling for this time. Nobody's chasing Hoy. 
Yeah, Exosolar has gotten off a, a pretty decent uh, uh, Gerardi right there. He's, uh, he's kind of <laughs> standing off on the point. He will eventually get taken down. And currently, we see Asoto is going to bomb in here, see if he can turn the tide. He does get two pants, but he will eventually get smacked in his face as well. And now Red, they're definitely looking like they're getting ready to cap this. This one scout, he has like 10 HP. going to have to get in there and try to cap it, but no. The team is going to win this. It's going to be... Whomster would have laid yes. Oh my goodness, man. That was a fantastic description of that uh, team name. Um, I kind of want to uh, paste this in chat and see if anybody at home can say their team name. It's extraordinary. It's long. And I, I curse the, the fact that they are so darn good. They've managed to get all the way through to this grand final. And we've got to try and say it over and over again. Yeah, Have maybe. All. Well, maybe we can figure out something smart, right? Like, uh, what would be the overall meaning of this? Homster dived dead is yes. Homst. Homst. I just gonna call him Homst. Homst really ain't yes, yes. Like, it's just. What does that mean? Mm. Actually, I'm going to see if I can look up the logs. I want to see the logs. I, I don't even care if there's a pen. I want to see the logs. <laughs> the, mm. This is actually a real thing. Their name is a real thing. What? How? All right. I found the logs. I found the logs. And it's not the top damage that I expected it to be. It's purple. Purple was just a beast. He's got ah! 12,000 damage. 375 damage per minute. Using only the scout pan. Do you know how many pan hits that is? Someone That's a do lot. the Yeah, someone do the calculation for me. Please. I mean, Liko wasn't doing too badly. Liko is only a shade behind. Uh, 11,000 damage. Yeah, the I'm look. Yeah, and the the KD is uh, he has a very good KAD and a good KD as well. So legal with the best KD, then purple and Hoy are up there as well. Kraken doing you know, some pretty good work. I, then, <laughs> despite purple's purple's uh, attention to to death tail, uh, Liko, I kind of want to say Liko with his banner. Liko did drop that banner a couple of times. It really worked well. Yeah, he, he really did. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see also, right? Like, you see Extra Solar, he played a lot of Sniper, and therefore he has, like, bad kills. But I wonder, like, so how impactful are those Gerardis is the kind of the question we have to ask ourselves. And uh, I'm also going to look at the pilot. Did he do any damage with his uh, jetpack? No. Okay, so he, he's within the rules, I guess. Good job. Good job, Extra Solar. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we're in hell to pay. But it is interesting, on Pyro, he actually went 4 for 9, so that seems to be not a very good class either. I think it's just a case of getting to know it, finding out what the best use of it is. Yeah, I think it's just that you, you don't have enough charges on the, on the jetpack to really be mobile enough, compared to the Demo Man, which is, like, has the same HP. Yeah, the one thing with the Pyro is that it, actually, it serves better like it, it weighs less than the demo man. Like both soldier and demo man, they they really heavy because of the the whole rocket jump mechanic. So it actually, if you've ever played like randomize or anything like that, you'll you'll notice that all the other classes they're just way lighter. So like if you have a rocket jumper on on heavy, he just flies super far because he just doesn't weigh anything, uh, which is kind of <laughs> counterintuitive. And it's the same for for pyro. So actually, when you hit them with the pan, they can surf it out really effectively. So, sort of what interesting, I, I guess. Yeah, what, I, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for in this next match, and I'm not sure I'm going to say, I saw it one, maybe two times in the previous match, is the teammates playing together. So when, when a scout or a dare man cruises in, um, that you effectively do the body block, and your, your team just does, your teammate does the body block, and then that displaced character um, gets whacked in the back of her head by a pan. I think I want to see this kind of twosome activity. 
Yeah. It's pretty vanilla, but uh, yeah, we, let's uh, let's see it. Let's do it. The I I remember seeing this map. The next map is gonna be uh, Cough Stallone B2, and I have definitely tried this map in like four v four games in like lobbies. I think <laughs> it's a very tight map. There's there's not a lot of mo room to maneuver around. There's a great big pool in the middle. So there's plenty of opportunity to do amazing rock jumps off the pool, off the surface of the water. Is that a thing? Does that still work? Yeah, water jumps is definitely a thing. Uh, I guess they're paused, if I had to guess. So there's an early pause. They're, they're all paused, but we haven't started the game yet. So I'm guessing there's going to be an early pause in there. So this is a good time for them to pause. I, I love these kind of pauses that happen within the first one and a half minutes of the game. Because that means that we don't get taken out of the, the gameplay at all. We... Oh, the VX I can config, I guess? Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Basically, we haven't started yet, so no reason to panic. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're just going to do... Like, this pool, it looks to be about the right depth. Maybe it's a little bit too deep for water jump. Maybe you have to be on the ramp part, like uh, the stairs into the water. Like, if you jump in the right spot for that, you can probably do it. Uh, we'll see. It looks a little deep, but it's hard to tell when you're not like actually in there. I think the map is actually small enough that you can probably rocket jump from one side to the other, even without the water. There's, there's, oh, a, lot yeah. of, there's a lot of beautiful things going on with this map. There's a lot of beautiful desert. There's, there's this fantastic hotel off to one side. But actually, most of, the, most of the map is kind of out of bounds. And when you consider that you're, you're, you are going to be running around a lot, um, all that focus on mid, then realistically, this is just going to be a brutal festivity of slamming the pan. I'm trying to figure out where the med kits are on this map, because, uh, okay, there's one under the bridge on middle there, so that's pretty convenient, I guess. But basically what I remember from playing this map, and just by looking at it as well, right, you want to be on top of the roofs. So there's a roof on each, each side, and then there's, of course, the point itself where you can also stand on top of it. So basically, if you're standing on the point, you're screwed. You just get like completely. You can't see anything, and you just get bombed on. But obviously, there's not going to be rockets flying at you. It's going to be like idiots with pans instead. But still, I, I I imagine it's scary to be there. And we're live, I think. Oh yeah, it might be a, a fake start. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think they're just going to restart the game since. Uh, yeah, there we go. But we're actually live. Actually live now. So so let's see what what happens on this middle. Now, the second map of this ever-important uh, grand final of the 2018 Ready Steady Pan Ornaments for EU. And Hoy's gonna just already jump behind. Oh, maybe we're not we live yet. Um, I'm just gonna pretend we're live until yep. we have... Absolutely, I've just seen someone shoot someone else. That's not allowed. <laughs> get this out of filth out of here. There's, I, there's nothing more I hate in TF2 than when people shoot each other. It's just, can we just not all be friendly, heavies? Like, it's ungentlemanly Jesus. behavior. Yeah, and uh, immediately we just see two Devilmen just passing each other in the skybox. Oh, that's beautiful. And say, so, oh, it looks like they've picked the blue roof to just to have a party. Everyone's invited. Come up here, boys. And the uh, red are like, no, no, this is our roof now. And uh, so they've taken it. And now the, the party has moved into the pool. As uh, <laughs> the soldiers now, yep. Ren's going to go up here and Red's going to start putting some time on the cap. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, blue forced to respawn, as is the way with Team Fortress 2. And they are coming out on force now. They, they are not taking this sitting down. They are going for blood uh, to serve in their pans. A lot of activity in mid here. Uh, yeah, on the point uh, itself. Like, Red had the opportunity to take it a little bit, and maybe they did get some time on there, but there wasn't, not even actually enough to cap it. Uh, yet, this point has definitely not been taken yet. Yeah, it's the, it's so dangerous to be on this map, right? Because if you're on the map and someone throws any of liquid onto it, you're just going to get hit. Like, you're going to get splashed by it, no matter what. So it's a very, very dangerous place to stand. And now that the, the point has been capped, you know, party's going to move on to the house once again, onto the roofs. But, uh, yeah, house party! Yeah, indeed. <laughs> There's also this shopping mall off to the side. I'm pretty sure it's just going to see zero use throughout the entire game. 
Like it's only going to be like limping people going in there. I wonder whether there's a med pack here. Have you seen a couple of small med packs uh, on either side of the shopping mall? So there's definitely health to be had there. So maybe we will see a little bit of spread going on. Uh, a little exchange going on between Liko and Elon Musk. Uh, they they parted ways now and uh, looks like the uh, blue team is going to be going en masse onto that midpoint. They want to cap it. Want to have some time on there too. Yeah, but three players get hit by a mad milk because this is what I'm talking about. It's so dangerous. And here comes two players. It's just a demo man and a soldier, but they're so tanky. They just keep on healing up. But now the soldier gets uh, mad milk himself and it, the point will change hands here. So that was a nice jump in there from the demo man. Barely manages to get cap points. That's what it's all about, baby. And the uh, league was actually on a five kill streak here as well. He's going to be camping up on this house. Just uh, waiting for players to jump in here. So we'll see if you can uh, drop down on him. And uh, he will actually fail, but uh, he actually has a banner. Interesting. He didn't just use it immediately. So there we go. Banner has been popped. Going to jump yep. down onto this demo man. Kind of save his uh, friendly demo. And I was going to move on, see if he can hit this uh, soldier. Yeah, two on one there by Liko Kraken uh, doing some damage away from mid. Looks like they're going to try and do a bit of a forward camp now. Liko engaging with uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, it looks like he, he wants none of Elon Musk. Just kind of jumps away. He's found a sniper. He's like, oh, this guy's a little, little weenie. I, I can get him. But uh, yeah, point, it still hasn't uh, changed side as Hoy captures out Liko. Really nice job there by Hoy. Just jumps in there and gets him. And uh, I'm kind of interested to see it's, it's the same buff banner that everyone uses. Or it's not the buff banner, sorry. It's the uh, battalion's backup. It's uh, it's not the uh, the Conqueror. I'm not sure the Conk is allowed in this battalion's backup definitely being allowed. There are definite uh, oh, restrictions. Yep. Yeah, Conk is not. But the uh, buff banner is actually allowed. And so is Gunboats. <laughs> Why would you use Gunboats? <laughs> Uh, it's funny. But anyways, I would see a pyro in the air. It's gonna see if you can get on top of here. And actually drops down on the soldier. Yeah, takes him down. Nice job by Extra Solar. Showing uh, the pyro isn't completely useless, even though the logs say they are. The, this water, I want to see someone trimp on it. Like, just do a really nice skip jump and then just, like, trimp on it. Uh, you know, the way you do that, you just mass jump. You actually just jump across, glide across the surface of the water. You can gain a lot of speed. It's not going to be very useful, but it will be very cool. So it's just a complete mashup up on this point. But uh, Bans, it's on a spree, desperately trying to just ward people off. And yeah, there we go. Doing a great job. Yeah, somewhere in that exchange, Red Team managed to capture uh, the point and get the, the time ticking down for them. They're doing very well for the moment. Um, Yep, there is a, a bit of exchange, a party going on, one of the houses. Uh, Hoy doing his thing, going out on his own, and he paid the price for it. He wasn't able to capitalize on that at all, uh, and took death as an alternative to life. And currently, DV, he's trying to, to chase the scout, but uh, he kind of gets uh, caught in the water. We've all been there. There we go, finally gets snowy. And uh, Purple is still top, uh, top scoring for his team, I just want to point that out. And... Here we go. <laughs> Did someone get a non pan kill? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean the the jetpack can get a kill. You know, you just land on it. It's kind of like the uh, uh, the boots, the stomping boots. Yeah, the man treads for for soldier. That's kind of how they work. And you can't like not <laughs> have that if you want to use it. So, and that does like seventy damage. I just want to point. It does a lot of damage. Elon Musk counting the medkit. He will get it now. Blue, they want it. To this point, you just never get capped. But now Red, they're just filing onto it. But it's very dangerous. This uh, one Girardi managed to only hit one player. That was kind of a miracle in itself. And now it's just a full home brawl on the point. There's no more jumping around. Now it's serious time. As everyone just kind of get gets into a pan fight on the point. But Blue just outnumbers them so heavily that... There's just no way Red can capture I, this. And I still think there's time. I think there's time to turn this around for the Red team. They they definitely have uh, the the willing, the urge to go out there and get these kills, the kills that really matter. And they Although, do have a sniper. So, like, right now what's going to happen is everyone's going to just file onto the point, right? And uh, 
Oh no, he missed it. He only hit a single scout, so he kind of wasted his Jirari. That's really unfortunate. And uh, now Blue, they come back in here. They don't want Red to capture this because time is just super slim. Them on both sides. A single scout remains. Kenny blocked this. No. All right, so eight seconds now remaining. He has to get on the point and, and stop it. Otherwise, Red will just win this. So Red, they're trying to position themselves so they can block people from getting in there. But Scout does get in there onto the point. Demoman as well. So this is just a fight for their life right now for Blue. Everyone's just jumping in there. Even the Pyro gets to the point in time. And look at that. They're actually doing it. The, I heard a banner somewhere, but yep. Blue, they have somehow done it. They make a tremendous comeback. Now they can cap this, and then there's going to be six seconds, and maybe Reds can get a six, second six, try this, but I doubt six it. Six seconds? Is it long enough? I see Hoy coming out of spawn now. Uh, he's going to try and go through the shopping mall. Oh, Hoy. Hoy is here. He can actually make it. He's getting body blocked. Oh, he actually makes it. Oh, he jumps oh, up. Oh, no, he jumped. Oh. What a Hoy, what were you thinking? Oh, it's, it's kind of funny. I, I don't think it mattered, but <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, you, you don't want to give it to your opponent. You want to at least make them earn it. But that's going to be one zero for Silence of the Pans. Thank God we don't want to say the other team's <laughs> name. <laughs> say the team that you can actually say the name of. Yeah. <laughs> All right, once again, it's going to be just a party on the roof. And it looks like it's going to be the blue roof once again. That's just really the, the point of attention and contention right now for both teams. And there's going to be a Sorter versus a Sorter right now on the roof, but uh, Ligo is too strong. He's going to take him down. He's on a 2k right now. Looks like Blue are finally beginning to move on to the point. going to pull some players down there. And yeah, there Perfect. we go. Perfect milk sprayed on there. Just enough uh, to, to guarantee that there is no chance whatsoever they're going to be taking any damage at all. Uh, apart from Borsi, that they're, they're all up there and they are owning that point at the middle. Hoy going in, trying to do some inspect his own. He's enough to get his ass whips just a little bit. Goes out, tries to run away, uh, and manages to stay alive for just a little bit longer. Indeed, and uh, he has pulled some players around. Like, uh, you can tell the blue team are looking for him, but he couldn't quite find him now. They have a single sword on the point, I think. He's going to just get uh, triple team there. Yep. They're going. Now there's another sword just waiting to get... Uh, triple team as well but uh, the fighters actually kind of moved into the the shopping mall uh, i was just saying we wouldn't see anyone get in there at all but yeah currently it just seems like uh, both teams are just playing the point just staying on top of there and oh bees covered in peas finally gets taken out red are gonna cap this midpoint they are feeling pretty confident at the moment i'm sure or scared one of those two yeah kraken it's gonna kind of <laughs> just body block this soldier off of the roof. This roof is his. That's what he said. And uh, look at this. Now he's gonna see so many blue players on the point, and they do have a banner. It's gonna be very difficult for Red Jack to get in there and get anything done. Purple's gonna get caught out. Gets taken down, but Red somehow do manage to get in there despite them have been covered in, in healing juice. As so whenever people fight them, yeah, there we go. It's the the Madman really coming into its own there. Extra solar. He's doing so much work on the pyro, and that's just because he kept on healing. Like uh, that's really the the plus, uh, the upside of having two scouts. You just constantly have uh, people milked. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to have people covered in P with two snipers, which you've admitted are not going to be the most spectacular play for this, or cover them continuously in milk. I think it's actually illegal. I think it's, it's sniper limit one. Weirdly enough, <laughs> did they think of this? Uh, they did! Sniper Limit yeah. 1, you're correct! Yes, uh, <laughs> they thought about it, I guess, but uh, yeah, I, I don't even think that would work. Maybe on this map, just because you can just play the point really hard, and then when they go down there, and everyone's standing on the point, man, you just throw one Jurati and hit everything, and you can just continuously do that. But uh, So far, the Jurati's have really failed on the, the middle of the point. As I read, they're, they're trying to get this... And uh, they are. Looks like they will be able to get it pretty much oh. uncontested. And just as I say <laughs> that, blue comes in. <laughs> oh my goodness me! It was so badly beaten down by that. Yep, demo men keep on flying in. So does the pyro. It's gonna come in here. It's kind of nice with the the jetpack that you don't take any fall damage basically. <laughs> so you're, you're fully healthy when you come in. On the point, scout's gonna come in here from the side with the demo man. Sort of in from the other side. And there we go. Hoy just uh, 
He's getting some work done, but eventually he will get smacked down by some pans. The scout trying to get onto the point. Soldier's going to help him get in here. So Blue, they're trying so desperately to get to this point, but just not quite able to get it. It looks like they will finally be able to do it as Elon Musk is the only one alive for Red. The last surviving, surviving member of the Red Team, Elon Musk. Uh, I think he's actually going to survive the whole way back to his base on this. Yeah. Elon Musk, he's fighting the scout. Come on, come on. Oh, ballsy. He loses another 1v1 one one that he just should have won. So I'm being really harsh on him today, I guess. <laughs> oh, poor guy. But yeah, the point is getting jumped really heavily again. Hoy's not standing on it. There's actually two soldiers there. The, obviously, as always, there's a bunch of milk splattered on everyone. And uh, there's a scout that's very weak off to the side here. That's Divi. He's going to finally see if he can come in here. But he has been spotted. And that just means that it's going to be very difficult for him to do anything. And he's going to get jumped by Demo. Demo can't quite catch him. But Elon Musk, he's on the hunt. He wants to fly, baby, into space and beyond him. Somewhere along the way, he wants to pan a, a dude as well. Well, it's his absolute god given right to do whatever he wants to do with his pan. He is, of course, Elon Musk, hero of the cyberspace. All right, we're oh. seeing a massive transition going on here. Blue team definitely uh, getting some bodies on the point. Um, we are looking at Can't Spell at the moment. I certainly am. Um, and uh, that was a very short lived life by uh, Can't Spell. Yeah, we see uh, Blue once again winning this mid, and they're going to be able to cap it out, so it's just so close every time. Blue, they did win last round, and now they're looking uh, to be in a pretty good position to, to win this next one as well, but it's very even time. Both teams are about 38 seconds, and so now there's a, a fight on top of the middle here. They want the high ground before they take the low ground, because, I don't know, low ground is bad. <laughs> I can't think of why you would want high ground, actually. <laughs> I guess you can drop down on people if you want to. It gives you a slightly more choice, but... Uh, oh my god, Extra Solo actually doing some work on Sniper there. Finally gonna get uh, taken down. But uh, yeah, Purple Man, he gets so many kills. He's like on a 4K again. I just saw him die, and he died on a 4K. Now he's already back on a 4K. Sort of comes in here, but he's covered in P. Gonna get immediately taken down. And uh, look at his red. He's getting on this point so much and Ballsy comes in there with a nice kill but uh, Red it's gonna be slowing slowly taking him down here it's gonna feel like forever because Blue they're on one second they just need to cap it out and they win it basically more or less that's the case I don't know what Red can do here they, they've just got to hold on to this point they can't let anyone take it for any realistic period of time although that seems to be exactly what's going on at the moment uh, they, they do have uh, a feed on the ground and uh, but they're covered in the yellow stuff and the white stuff and yeah Liko, oh, Liko actually he's doing a ton of work there he just uh, healed up a whole bunch he's getting a 3k as well can he do it no nope. so we will eventually out duke him but there's a fully healthy demo man he's gonna just punch people my goodness me kraken kraken does the kill with the pan oh, elon Musk gonna come flying in it's his thing but a nice really nice body block right there by the pyro just not gonna allow him to get onto the point actually really well played there from extra solar but two soldiers two other players managed to come in here just barely everything's covered in milk everyone's healing this means that uh, this fight's gonna go on for a while but no eventually they do get it it's uh, really well played there by extra solar especially but everyone else just kind of blocking that demo man from getting onto the point really well played two to zero that's uh, it's quite incredible work i mean we saw the the other map the the process being much more close in terms of uh one and one getting scores on the uh on the scoreboard it uh, looks like uh signs of the pan's really owning this map at the moment yeah, but uh, they did have a pretty rough start to this mid-fight here as uh, Spans just completely on crack and <laughs> eventually end up just getting thrown off the roof. So uh, definitely a man advantage right now for Red. You can see they're, they're basically 6 on 3. Now they're beginning to, to file in onto the point. So this uh, can be where things just slow down a whole bunch. So yeah, DV goes down as well. Single demo man on the point. I think there might be another guy joining him. Oh my god, he's actually healing a whole bunch. And yeah, here comes a, as another demo man, just not allowing this point to get capped out. Just continue to do this. And uh, as, as it is blue, <laughs> actually come back in this fight. But it looks like it's going to be a very difficult one to, to win for them. But yeah, they're just never going to give up, I guess. Extra Solar, making extraordinary use of his jetpack, both to get away and to get back into the fray. 
point once again being played by both teams. It's an extra soul. <laughs> uh, just gonna fly up onto this roof so he can meet a sorter, but no, he will only meet death as he will get sent to the respawn queue. Is now blue are making a serious push onto this point here in middle. They're, they're doing the thing again where they body blocking this scout, making it so that he can't get onto the point, but now it's gonna be a sorter from both sides, I think. Actually, this sorter comes in and that was Hoy get, getting a ton of work done, but the, these scouts are just really showing their worth right now, just being so annoying and just uh, this milk seems so much better on this map now, Doug. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it makes some sense. That's the map where we're seeing that the, the point is so small. The actual uh, play area is incredibly tight. And I think there's lots of little corners and nooks where, where you can, as a spy, you can hang out and, and, and chill and have a coffee. But in this particular circumstance, you just get caught. You get tripping over steps and, and into, the, into the tables and chairs and not quite being able to jump on mid. Surprisingly, surprisingly uh, easy to get yourself caught out. The real yeah. fight, though, happening at mid at the moment. Extraordinary work. Yeah, this is basically one of those like slow dance balls where everyone's just like really pressed up against each other and being super awkward with each other. Like it's it's like a middle it, school dance now. It's the school too. disco. <laughs> yeah. That's what this map was turned into here, but now people have actually moved away from the point. You see Kraken just jumping in there, he misses his first target, but mind the second one. And so, now finally we see Blue putting some time onto the point, and uh, this is where it usually devolves into uh, a middle school dance here. It's uh, Red, they, they are kind of taking it out outside, the, the bullies beating up uh, all the nerds, making sure they can't get their girls. Then, yep. yeah, they, true. Like Elon Musk taken down by a bunch of bullies. It's always the way. Oh, blue. They're gonna get it, I guess. They've, they've gotta get this. They've got so many people on the point at the moment. Yep, they've definitely got uh, time. It's ticking down. The counter's ticking down for them at the moment. And that they're, they're surrounding. Purple is is uh, taken down. Uh, Extra Solar doing his work there. <laughs> Extra Solar is just desperately jumping out. He's actually doing really, really well, all things considered, but eventually he will go down. Just such a weak little meanie. So Kraken comes in, but uh, nope, he gets flanked pretty heavily. He gets panned in the back. If you've ever had anyone just lightly tap you in the back of the head with a pan, you know that that shit hurts. But you get taken down. Sort of jumps in here. Uh, that was Liku, but yeah, he gets out of there. <laughs> he's like, sees five players. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, he's gone back to join the rest of his teammates, and Red, very, very forward hole here. Almost spawn camping, I would say. Yeah, it's a pretty dangerous thing to do, right? Because if you're too close to spawn, they just have infinite health, basically. They can just go back in. So you definitely don't want to go too far forward here. It's blue right now. Once again, getting onto the point. The time is completely even right now, and it is 2 to 0 in favor of for whom the bad. No, for. Silence of the pans! Silence of the pan. I, I the keep thinking, easy like, one! Yeah, he's like whoops. This is the other one, so I, I, keep, I keep thinking for whoops the, who's the, 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 the pants boil or whatever, right? So that's because my brain works too hard to try to make sense of it, and you can't. So <laughs> here comes uh, Extra Solo in there with the, the jetpack, but he is not going to be able to really get anything. But so blue, they're, they're losing a lot of players, but they have actually just managed to get everyone away from the point. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you need to cap it out <laughs> if you get that. Otherwise, it has no benefit. Absolutely. You actually need to cap the point for any any real time to put on the clock for you. Red's timer now ticking down, down to less than a minute. Blue really have got to make their move if they're going to do it at all. And that is the move they're making right now. They're getting bodies on the point. They're getting time on the point. Snowy trying to get out there. See what he can do to body block them. Not enough, apparently. Elon Musk going out on his own. Seeing if he can make some damage. And he does get a kill. And he's down to like the slight, tiniest sliver of health. Uh, yep, he's taken out by Ballsy, I think, there. Extra Solar going on on, on a 1v3 taunt at the moment. Uh, we, and uh, uh, no, Extra Solar pulling away, backing up. He, he doesn't know whether he's coming or going at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Going to see a, a scout extravaganza inside the house. But look at this. Red, they're just capping out. There's a blue wipe once again. It's very rare to see these wipe. But there we go. Another one of them. And Red, 
They want their comeback to come in, and you don't want to lose three to zero. That's just embarrassing. So now blue, they're gonna have to make this big push to come in here and make sure the point get capped out. Uh, Divi went in there early, the entire team spawning at the same time, making a push as if it was from the beginning all over again. Uh, the piss comes out. Uh, both Elon Musk and Alive covered in the yellow stuff. And Elon kills himself by landing badly. Yeah. Uh, moments of SpaceX just repeating in his eyes. Over oh, time purple, can purple actually do this? That would be so close. He has, like, no help. Now there's a sniper in behind him as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> he did no surprisingly health. well. Yep, no health and covered in the milky stuff. Elon Musk now covered in the yellow stuff. It's uh, another rough to the office here. But uh, <laughs> like, uh, all fighting outside of the point has basically ceased at this point, And uh, that's because it's so important that Blue gets this. Now Red, they can afford to just slow it down. You see uh, B is getting chased down by Hoy. Hoy will uh, just find his target eventually he is the hunter killer and uh, there we go people on the point once again and uh, you know i just want to point out that red they just need to cap it out and they win but uh, yep. currently they don't really have anyone alive i don't know that they're, they're kind of losing it at the moment they're allowing themselves to get distracted by the, the opportunity of winning this point and, and going in one at a time and that's not how you win this game you need to have a buddy it's the buddy system. Ready, steady, pan enforces the buddy system. That's right. Just like in middle school. I don't know why everything just it comes is, down to middle school. It is, <laughs> this is the school of hard knocks. With yeah. A pan. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like middle school, except instead of just having I some say, minor it's, annoyances, it's, you get killed by a pan. It's middle school, but slightly less violent. Yeah. It's a good way to put it. But here we go. Time is running out. Now it's zero on both teams. If uh, Blue can hold on to it, they win. If Red can cap it, they win. Divi! Divi doing incredible work! He's just stopping them from capping it. I know he died in the end there, but it was probably enough to allow his team to come back in and be the support. There's so many players on this mid now. It's extraordinary seeing the uh, amount of effort that's going into getting your own uh, life Full oh my god, a blue actually gonna do this? No, no, no not quite. No, not. They are not gonna do this. Yeah, that was a, that was a really hard situation there. It, they just had to keep on going in one by one to just desperately extend the time, but they all it also meant that they just kinda got picked off one by one. So red, they make a comeback here. Hoops, they've they've got this. They didn't get three O's and now it's just a matter of winning two rounds and uh, they, they can get back in this and we can go to a third map. Oh, what a lovely, delightful thought that would be. No way. It's a blue <laughs> to win this for a third map. Yeah. <laughs> We're well, definitely going to get a third map. Absolutely. I think these teams are so evenly matched. And we've seen this time and time again. Everything comes down to the wire. They know what they're doing. They know how they've got to win. And the... The, the play style that they're both adopting, those vastly different play styles, different characters being utilized, but it, it, it comes down in the end just to such a perfect, beautiful balance. Balancing act of middle school, middle, middle school butchery. Indeed. And uh, you see Blue, they're definitely at a man advantage. We see Snowy dumping around with 16 HP. I think he's just going to put his tail between his legs. Hopefully he's not going to get chased down by a soldier. No, he's just going to waddle back to spawn. Head in his hands. Go, Mommy! <laughs> They're hurting me! They stole my lunch money! Yeah, but now here comes the... <laughs> the Retribution quads. Squad is in full force. He's flying all over. Man, this, this map has a super low skybox. That one has the... <laughs> that's actually annoying. <laughs> just noticed. But anyway... Uh, we do see a single demo man on the point trying to cap this out and he will get a nice kill here So red they definitely have uh, the positioning on point. They all Covered in, in healing juice the sword comes in there with a banner and uh, it's doing so much work Oh my god, what a tank eventually he will miss a couple of swings and go down So red they've actually just managed to just power their way through this banner and uh, be able to take middle Snowy right down to the line again 50 health I'm, I'm wondering why Snowy is not going to go and get himself uh, healed up. Uh, nope, it looks like he's, he's nipping out of the action now. 
Uh, Red team doing their amazing forward hold strat they've done before. I think they've learned from last mis last mistakes and decided to stay back a little bit. Purple utilizing the milk to poor effect. Uh, gets himself taken out of the fray. And we push right back to the middle action again. To this, this podium, this stadium of pain and joy. Yeah, we're, we're in the, the, in the arena right now. And it looks like Blue has uh, definitely won out on that one. There's a single sword remaining. He's going to get taken down. And that was uh, basically another wipe. Blue will be able to cap this out. And they will be slightly ahead on time, but there's still a lot of time remaining. It's 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 all to play for. I mean, two minutes is is it's too too far away to even bring it in consideration at this point. Elon Musk out there on his own on the point. The entire blue team rushing towards him at the moment. They they really want to get this. They want to get this map. They they feel like they've had it denied to them in that last round. And. Once again, there's just no one on the roof. They're all actually either inside the shopping mall or they're on the point. So they're just, they've kind of just abandoned the high ground. And I, I suspect it's halfway because there's no point of high ground <laughs> in Ready Steady Pam is on Malay. Like you can just, actually, if you're on the high ground, you can get juggled really badly. A, a good view, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's, I guess that's worth fighting for, all things considered. That Elon was Musk a remarkable. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Remarkable turnaround. Uh, Elon Musk just doing some incredible work there. Although he's covered in milk at the moment, being targeted, brought down. Purple Purple is man of the match at the moment, but Noble gets taken out as well. Ballsy being super effective with that pan. Uh, can't spell and Snowy uh, making uh, bees pay uh, the bill. And Divi, Divi's actually on a six kill spree, and he has three dominations right now, so. Despite bottom uh, scoring, he's actually doing a lot of work, uh, at least right now. He's going to jump right in there and get immediately de uh, denied. And uh, that's going to be another change of the, the points. And uh, we see another basic spawn camp almost. That's how far forward Hoy is. And uh, <laughs> Sword is trying to jump him. I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, maybe the map is just so small, it's almost impossible not to be spawn camping. Hoy doing an incredible job there of distracting, falls down, brings a couple of team players, uh, a couple of blue players down with him, uh, immediately jumping up, back up again. Uh, Hoy, is, Hoy is incredible in my opinion, although he has just died then, I hope our, our, our spectator wasn't watching him in that moment. Yeah, that would be embarrassing if we keep drawing attention to the fact that he died. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that corpse over there, it's a beautiful corpse. Yeah, he, he really should have not died there, because then he would have been alive and able to kill more people. So, uh, you know, I, I think Hoy did really well there, except for the fact that he died. So, right up to that moment where he didn't do very well at all, he was doing excellently. Indeed. And uh, Blue, they're actually trying to cap this out, and uh, they're doing a pretty good job of it. It's only just a red uh, single filing in here. They do have a scout on the point, some players on Blue, they are covered in P. Which is very dangerous in there. Yeah, that's actually going to mean the purple's going to get a really easy kill onto bees. And it looks like red, they might have turned it around. It's, uh, it's definitely up in the air, but uh, no, blue will be able to cap it out. So now it's only 30 seconds before they have won this second round. And uh, we'll be able to take the map. So in 30 seconds, if nothing changes, blue will win this map. Silence of the pans. So, you know, who's, they need to get in here and do something about it quick. It looks like they're pushing it at the moment to try and do something about it quick now, and it's really not working out for them. Elon Musk and Hoy both going down. There is a lot of bodily fluids being exchanged here in midpoints. This uh, this school disco has turned uh, a bad shade of purple. Uh, speaking of purple, he is currently dead, as is most of the team. Blue, silence of the pans. They finally finally win this one 3-1 and they take a map this means we are at a point where each team most humps and silence have got themselves a map in this competition that is certainly nothing less than grand in this grand final it's gonna be good day we're obviously gonna take a look at the locks because it doesn't matter how meme the game mode is i'm a competitive player i want my logs all right it's just not up for discussion Fair enough. So who who did the most damage this time round? Was it purple? No, he was actually fourth. Number one's gonna be bees on demo man doing a lot of work there. So the demo pan coming in strong, and Kraken as well. So the two demo men just uh, doing so much work, 
And uh, I'm trying to look at the... Oh, Liko is actually has like a, a monstrous uh, KD. Yeah, if you just look at all the, the deaths, everyone's basically on 30. Some have 35, some have 28, like something like that. But uh, yeah, Liko has 20, so he's significantly lower and he still has 31 kills. So he uh, he was up there with the, the top killers and didn't die a whole lot. And then it's Purple still had the best, most kills. I mean, we're not seeing we're not seeing a much more even spread amongst players. Nobody's really standing out as being I am number one. There's a lot of ten thousand uh, damage, a lot of nine thousand, eight thousand, seven thousand. Only a couple of players, only Divi and uh, Ballsy, um, are are less than six thousand damage. So it's really impressive work and surprising considering that uh, Silence of the Pans managed to to take that win. So the scouts utilizing, I would say, utilizing their milk uh, to full effect to allow these other players to get in there and get the kills themselves. Extra Solar doing incredible things with Pyro and uh, his sniper class. Did see some beautiful milk, uh, sorry, beautiful uh, piss come in there uh, in... Uh, uh, to to really sort of assist the team, and it's it's all about the team. It's ready, steady, pan, not ready, steady, me. Beautiful. That's uh, that should go on in some sort of uh, motivational poster. Absolutely, <laughs> it's a cat poster in my school. <laughs> yeah. So next, we're gonna go to Asheville, and Asheville should be very different from the last map because this has a, a point that's very open. And I think. Like, a lot of the fighting, yeah, sure, it might take place on this middle, but uh, the middle is very open and has some high ground that's, uh, like, on... I don't know, it, it seems to be, like, it has this slanted roof that can do... Like, most things can get up there except for Sniper, right? So, and then when you jump down, there's also these crates that you can't jump up onto either way, right? Like, you can't just, like, jump up onto them. So, you can kind of jump off of them and just kind of stare your way down. And it's a really nice thing to do. So this high could actually be important because the way you can like, you can jump down towards someone, and then if they see you, you can just kind of like slide off to the or just mm. strafe off to the side and hit the box, and then maybe <laughs> strafe back in or some other way. It's really nice to have like this thing you can jump off of and steer towards if you if they see you because when you come from the high ground and they see you, it's really easy for them to hit you. Yep. I think that the big difference with this map and, and other maps we've seen, there were so many big health points, uh, uh, lots of uh, lots of opportunity to, to nip out of focus for a little while, or even just nip under the point and pick yourself up some some super super health, and that's something that that is really important with Ready Steady Pan, where where the uh, the the scouts, sorry, the scout with his milk and the soldier uh, are, are the only classes that can deliver any sort of passive uh, attempts at healing. Yeah. And do you get anywhere on this map where, when you look around, you get like a flash of, gr of black screen? Because I do. Like when I'm up near the top, and I just like look around and I just scan around. There's sometimes I just get like a black screen. It's really weird. And it would just flash and stuff. It is odd. Okay. <laughs> well, your graphics uh, to one side. Um, it is worth mentioning the the, the jump height, the, the glass ceiling on this map is significantly higher than the last map we saw you i know you were complaining about that before uh about stallone having an incredibly low or uh, uh, just uh, the the inability to go all the way to the top of the sky uh with the the jumping classes uh that that's been removed uh from this map so expecting to see classes just catapulting themselves across the map uh going left and right up and down and really making use of this uh, vertical space available to them. Yeah, it also has like the, the high ground next to the point, or just not next to them, but like usually normal sniper would stand, right? Like that whole sniper deck, yeah. so to speak, that has a med kit on it. And I think we're going to see a lot of fights there, just because it's kind of funny to jump onto the enemy side, right? With the pan, of just screaming through the air as a demo man. Like, yeah, that's funny. So we're definitely going to see some people land there. And then there should be interesting. <laughs> I think absolutely. Uh, it kind of makes me wish that I'd seen other maps, like I'd seen other uh, teams play this map out to know what the strats are that we should be expecting to see during this. Ultimately, the final map. Um, realistically, everything is down to the wire on this one. Whoever wins, or whomst ever wins, as it may be the case, uh, wins this map, wins the entire thing. So 
everybody is going to be fighting balls to the wall, uh, hard as nails, trying to get this to be their victory map. Indeed. It's, uh, it comes down to everything now. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to assume that this is their life. And they, they have practiced super hard for this. And it's not some sort of meme tournament. So, no, yeah, absolutely not. buckle up. <laughs> no, no, I can't imagine this being considered. We were chatting about it, laughing about this being a meme tournament. I, I've seen some incredible plays over the course of the last, I don't know, half hour, hour, however long we've been sat here talking for, uh, watching this beautiful play. These players, these teams, they're taking it seriously. And so well they should. And we are live now. So... If you want to see a uh, top-level, competitive, super serious pan pandemonium, now's the time. Oh. Uh. We managed to get the entire way through there, almost to the end of this entire thing, without ever bringing up Panword. <laughs> the floodgates are going to open now. Oh, the <laughs> sword is getting juggled. Oh, there we go. That's uh, kind of what I was talking about. If you jump down on them and they, they see you, they can just juggle you and hit you again. But uh, anyway, actually, Blue's definitely winning out on the so far in this mid fight. There's a scout underneath who's uh, like underneath is kind of nice because you can flank off of it and there's a med kit. But uh, yeah, Hoist is gonna kind of sneak out of there. This this coin this uh, cap point should be a lot easier to cap as well. Because it's a longer map, so you can't just fly from spawn onto the point to block it. So definitely easier to cap, and we see it's all that. So mid has been capped already. Yeah, it's a nice exchange going out on mid at the moment. Uh, Bees versus Elon Musk, and the entire team has joined in this uh, cabaret of pain. Yeah, Red, they're, they're coming in here, but <laughs> somehow Extra Solo is being super effective on Sniper. It's on a 3k right now, and he's not even using like a P that much oh it's specimen it says oh I thought it said something else thank god I was <laughs> 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 that, that, that was uh, about to get gross but anyway there's a soldier up on this uh, the sniper deck right now that's Liko he's just gonna jump away and uh, yeah now we just see uh, people just camping up on this high ground waiting for players to come in and stand on the point and then dive on top of them but no one's really falling for it so Liko will go in there, take down the sniper, jump back out again. So good job by him. He's gonna go grab some health, then come back in. Yeah, lovely exchange there with Snowy versus Divi. Snowy desperately trying to get up to the med pack, but Divi overtakes him, and uh, uh, now it's Purple versus Divi, and they are exchanging blows one for one right now. Uh, Divi running back into the fray, looking for teammates, cannot find any. Uh, but he's staying on the point, stay on mid in his own. I think a big uh, fight is going over there with the uh, bees and, uh, and Hoy and can't spell at the moment. Uh, what are you watching at the moment? I am watching purple on middle because he has the tendency to never die. And as I say that he died, so uh, Castle's curse is real. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> blue, they're just defending the point. You can see the cap is almost uh, fully capped right now, and uh, red. They're, they're not really that many players alive, so they're going to have to go in here. You see Hoy on the point, but he's going to get just mobbed by everyone else. And here comes the Pyro as well. Again, just mobbed by Liko. He just comes in there with the pen, the side pen, doing it, uh, doing some real work. Uh, time to start watching mid again. I see Purple coming out, and he is going to be joining in the fray uh, versus, uh, versus everyone. He's been he's pulling back to mid now. Seeing if he can take anyone out with his pan. To be honest, I'd be surprised. He hasn't actually been hit anyone so far yet. Um, going up against Borzy and gets that kill, which is quite impressive in its own right. Rushing back to mid, seeing if he make a bit more use of his uh, milk. And he uh, he gets a few players splash, uh, but is taken out for his troubles. Oh my god, the pan sounds are deafening. <laughs> but the, the banner comes in here as well. Unfortunately, he just jumps down into three other players hack him down with the the blunt side of a pan it's not going to be a good way to go but red they almost have this cap but look at this they actually haven't capped the point a single time and blue are now at zero so like red they're going to have quite a lot of time to work with here because it takes a long time for the point to get fully uncapped but man they're just losing this fight so badly yeah they're down to two players uh, uh elon trying to do some work getting in i don't know whether he's going to make it in time a lot i've goes and uh, against name Yep, Elon makes it, he makes it, but not good enough. He gets pushed out the side, and uh, that is a point on the scoreboard for Blue. 
completely uncontested. Yeah, that was... Uh, that's the most dominant round we've seen so far. It's been very close pretty much throughout the entire thing, but... That was uh, just absolutely brutal. It just They just won basically the mid-fight and... They were just never able to recap the point. That's kind of interesting. So currently we just see all sorts of players just jumping behind, having fun. Oh my god, Elon Musk gonna take down Crack and just uh, owns him pretty badly there. And uh, the point has just been completely uncontested right now, but finally we do see some, some presence on it. And uh, here we go. Uh, players just funneling down low. They want this uh, med kit down there. And uh, I see the sniper flank, the juicy sniper. Oh, he's been spotted. Yeah, the uh, Hoopster team definitely did not want to go down without any time on the clock this uh, this round. So they've managed to do their capture, but they are they are being destroyed. Yeah, purple. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, everyone just a uh, man milk there. So uh, he's takes down balls again. Purple has has balls his number. It seems just uh, continuously completely outfrags him and. <laughs> there we go. DV will get his revenge. Scott on the point. Point is almost capped out here for blue. It looks like they're going to get it. There we go. At least yep. red, uh, they have some time on the point. So that's a more victory at least. I think it's a little bit too soon to rule them out uh, being a contender in here. Divi running under the point. But uh, Hoy alive, Snowy, and uh, I'm saying uh, can't spell all going out on Divi. Uh, can't spell chasing Divi, but uh, it looks like the the actual fight is back with mid. Uh, B's being taken down by three players. And point has been uh, recapped once again, so already this is more close than last round. You can kind of tell. Like this is what I kind of expected. It, it should be a lot easier to actually cap it out. And uh, purple gets uh, the flank onto the scout, but he's actually sort of losing this fight. But no, there we go. Gets uh, saved by Elon Musk, the hero. Don't know whether anybody saw it there, but Can't Spell managed to go three on one and survived whilst taking down two players. It was extraordinary work. That was a very forward hold by him. Uh, just really surprised that it paid off. Or panned yeah. out. Hey! Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with our ability to just not turn in this into some sort of pun fest. It's just... We're ruining it now. Yeah. I mean, I meant Panfest. Sorry. But anyway, oh my god, look at Blue just slaughtering everything. <laughs> poor, poor guys. It's just going to be they... Hoy with four idiots just chasing him with a pan. Absolutely. Uh, this is the first time I've seen any team move almost as one. Uh, they, they, are, they are swinging at the same rate. It's like a, a moving force of octopus arms. Oh my god, an octopus would be amazing at Ready Steady Pan. Just eight <laughs> pants. <laughs> eight X damage. That's that's crazy. I don't know why we don't have uh, that class in the game, because it would be overpowered. But then, <laughs> see Red, they're kind of funneling pretty slowly here. They're kind of suffering from the same thing that the Hooms was suffering from early on, where they just kind of go in one by one and they just lose some fights and then they don't get any time on the point. But, uh, now they finally do seem to have managed to get some time on it. So Hoy is being very aggressive considering that he has 63 health. That is one pan territory. But Blue, they have dove, divin onto the point, whatever that word is. As uh, Hoy is going for the air pans. Can he get him? No. Nope, they cannot. In point itself is completely empty at the moment. Although, uh, yeah, we, we're seeing a lot more of the Humps team just hanging around mid. Like they, they they know that's where the action is. They don't need to go chasing, uh, looking for looking for a fight, spoiling for a fight. They can just hang around. Uh, Liko going a one v two, joined by Ballsy now, and uh, yep, they, they they get a kill. They get two kills. Yeah, and uh, Blue once again just winning out this fight pretty much outright. Man, I I get so many black screens. I wonder if my like graphics card is just melting or something. I think it can't take uh, the the pan epicness that is going on here. Your your computer it just it just won't it, it can't handle it. It can't have, handle the pan truth. Have you ever just like blacked out and then just woken up in the middle of a ready state pan cast? It's <laughs> it's it's like that. It's almost yeah. exactly like that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, here he comes Kraken. Can he be a hero? Just gonna f fly around? No. Okay. 
And he's going to come in and block the point finally, but no, he just kind of plus forwards into people. Not much duking going on there. Was that and a wipe? I mean, there was a lot of blue uh, blue corpses on the floor for a moment there. Almost a complete, well, not even a complete reversal. That was that was a lot of dead for blue. Yeah, it was definitely very close. It was just, let's call it an effective wipe. There was no one middle area to contest it, basically. No one alive there. But it does mean that they're out on force oh now. God, they all have Elon the Musk. He just uh, did like the nice uh, pogo mid-air sticky jump and then just poked, landed on top of someone's head and just air panned him. That was beautiful. And now he's just gonna continue to put up work here on the middle and uh, Red, they will take it back. So after losing the first round, getting zero time on it, they will take the second round with uh, over a minute to spare. Regardless of what happens in this next round, I think both teams can hold their heads very high. They've both got very serious work done on this mid, both taking a, a round each. And it's time to see what they do with this mid fight. Well, there's a scout desperately trying to run behind, and uh, <laughs> Purple is on the chase. Can he get him? He can. Nice. The kind of incredible how many pans he just hits. Like whenever I use melee on scout, I just can't hit anything. Right? Like you just hit like one, and then you miss three, and you hit one, and you miss three. That's basically how scout melee works. Especially if the enemy is meleeing you as well, because then you have to like dodge and juke. But man, purple is just so good at it. Just takes down this demo man. Hits like four pans on him. Gets two on the soldier. Yeah, it's just. It's very impressive to me how, because scouts should just be the worst melee class. That's kind of what they're known for. Uh, that's their weakness. It's just terrible with melee. But, eh, not, not purple, I guess. I'm going to see, I, I, there have been a lot of exchanges on this mid, and it doesn't really seem like any one team is particularly well opposed to, to get the first uh, the time ticker going. Having said that, uh, Silence, uh, they seem to be they seem to be focused on getting all of the kills first, which is probably the right way of doing it, frankly. Um, Hoy covered in both Milk and P, trying to escape, and uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. He's, uh, he's looking for an opportunity, uh, but he's being body blocked. Uh, where Mid I'm still hasn't been happy. Like, do, do you think we're just going to get an eternal ready steady pan? Game? This is going to be it. I, I <laughs> hope you've got no plans for the rest of the weekend. This is it, folks. We are just going to watch this entire map for the next 24, pops, even 48 hours. This should be a charity. Yeah, just uh, if you're watching the YouTube, uh, you can just click in the description to go to part 25 where it will wrap up. But, uh, or at least we will go to a break. But it uh, looks like the, the point is actually going to get capped out by red. Is it? Is it happening? I think it's happening. Oh, praise it's be. It's happening! Praise be. Now there's actually like a time limit on it, how long it can go, right? Well, At least for this be. round anyway. We've still got more rounds to go after this, so it's not going to be done yet. And uh, definitely not going to be done yet because uh, a great deal of fighting is about to commence. I see bees and alive. Uh, no, maybe Hoy. Hoy seems to be all the way around the back on his own trying desperately to survive, managed to get out. Uh, being the distracting class that he is, extraordinary survival tactics there, uh, but not quite enough to stay all the way alive to the very end. Purple going out against uh, these players. Uh, Liko uh, takes down Snowy. Although uh, Blue Team have got a couple of bodies near points, they haven't actually managed to, to take it back yet. Alive going down to the pan of Divi. There we go. They're going to finally cap this point. Uh, there, <laughs> slight little hiccup there so, as the soldier just comes in there. But Hoi going to jump out and actually gets uh, hit by, by bees as he tries to jump out. He's uh, he's kind of got a mad demo man on him right now. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like uh, it's purple is trying to do his play. No, that was snowy. My bad. As he gets taken down. So red, they're coming back in here trying to contest this point. There's a demo man on the high ground. And uh, the sniper looking to see if he can uh, get some people. He only got one player, I think, with that Jurati. And uh, he's going to go in there and just out dupes him. Extra Solar taking Fine. zero damage. Yeah, that was a very uh, yellow tinge to uh, Musk there. Uh, surprising how effective it can be. Oh, is that is that Liko using... Yep, Liko's using his uh, banner to recharge his team. He's on 9 HP, though. <laughs> <laughs> Tragically, well, not himself. 
Yeah, that's like one bad rocket jump away from death, or a single pan, even from a scout. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> you will run away and get it to make the health. And here comes the big blue push, the blue wave onto middle. And uh, it looks like it's going to fail pretty miserably here. It's uh, red. They're just going to finally cap it out, unless this one scout can just solo right. the entire team. Nope, not going to get it. Yeah, it was pretty ballsy or ballsy, but uh, it wasn't enough. So, red team getting the ticket go down for them. Uh, the, the timer, I'm looking at it again, and it is it is very close. Yeah, we see four blue players actually just grouping up here, getting ready to go on to the point. <laughs> this extra solo doing so much work. Uh, the pyro, and then Liga just flies in there and gets purple. It's always beautiful when you see them basically get a market garden with the pan, except it doesn't do as much damage because that wouldn't be fun. Like, you, you want to. You want to punch them several times with a pan. Meme pan? I, I don't know. Not quite as effective as a meme spoon, apparently. It depends on what you're trying to achieve, I'd argue. You know? Oh no, Liko! He was one bad rocket jump away from death and he did that bad rocket jump. <laughs> he just killed himself. <laughs> oh no. But the red, they're, they're trying to get back in here. And the... Uh, um, oh, Exosola, he actually misses the uh, the, the bonk uh, of the <laughs> or the fall damage to thing with his... Uh, the, the Mario jump. Yeah. I, I can never remember what it's called. It's like, I just called the jetpack, and I have always called it the jetpack, so... It's like the thermal thrusters or something. Yeah, that's right. Sounds, like, sounds like winter underwear. <laughs> thermal thrusters? <laughs> <laughs> just me. Okay, enough. Time is basically equal now on both teams, and uh, he's gonna see a banner coming out from Hoy. He's pretty weak, but you know he's just gonna jump around, wait for his teammates to come in here, and that's gonna definitely cause Blue to just fall back from the point. But Hoy is actually just uh, just chasing people with this banner, and uh, how, he's just gonna find. How is Hoy still alive? Hoy just thrusts himself into situations where there is really no chance of survival, and then escapes. Having said that though, a lot of effective panning going on in the middle by the blue team. Uh, Kraken, Kraken takes out two, takes out, uh, takes out, uh, can't spell. Yeah, and again, Hoy, I, it's some sort of overflow glitch, right? Because he goes into a situation where there's less than 0% chance of him surviving, so it just goes back into the positive, so he just gets out alive. It's just, it's awful. Elon Musk wins a nice 1v1 there with Kraken, but immediately gets uh, revenged immediately. upon. Immediately taken out by bees. Oh, beautiful P there. That was, that was well placed P, um, but wasn't able to be capitalized on such an unfortunate run. Looks like, uh, looks like exactly again, perfect times. Uh, but we're not seeing equal players ready for the push. Uh, the entirety of Hooms uh, is is pushing out on the right-hand side at the moment. <laughs> Everyone failed their rocket jumps <laughs> and sticky jumps. U universal <laughs> failure by the entirety of the team. We've been going for some time now. And there's been so much effort pushed into this. I think people are just tired. Yeah, Liko though, he's not tired of hitting people with a pain. He gets a nice 3k right there. And uh, that's going to definitely give his uh, team the edge. Hoy is still alive though. And uh, like everyone's so weak on red. But uh, like, can this one scout just get him? No, Deep is going to jump into <coughs> the loving arms of Hoy. And somehow red gets it. Yeah, but now we're up against it. Blue just need to capture this one more time when they've got this round. It is so important. Everything is to play for right now. Elon Musk goes down, sacrifices his life. He's he's good, but he's no haughty. Yeah, all right, Blue, they're coming in here. This is literally the most important time in their entire life. As they come in here, they must get this, otherwise they'll go to an... Well, it still goes another round. Whatever. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> yeah, they'll be ahead, which is definitely the most important thing in their entire life. As they're actually winning this fight, they're playing for it. And here comes this down man just flying in. And he's going to get... Just panned down as well, and there we go. They get it. So a really nice coordinated push there from Blue. Silence off the pan. They will not go silently into the night. They're going to take a lead, and they're only one round away from victory. Yeah, they're paneling their way into a victorious and beautiful future. Uh, I want to see. I want to see what they do. I want to see if they go full on at it. Like if they really throw their lives into this next mix. 
There's a lot, a lot of posturing going on. Not a lot of effective killing, though. Yeah, Ligo even shot uh, a rocket at uh, someone just to kind of show him, show him off. <laughs> he did zero damage, obviously, but it's a good, uh, good little nudge there. Like just uh, I, I own you. Yeah, don't don't worry. But uh, yeah, now we see Spans in here, and he's do doing his absolute best. That he's on the point. It looks like uh, Demo Man's gonna try and run away. Will he chase? No, he will not. So he's gonna kind of come back in here, but. Yeah, not gonna find anything. Two demo men just bumping into each other here. And the pyro comes in again with the thermal thrusters and oh my god, look at that. The the slaughter from blue it's perfectly timed. Absolutely brilliantly timed. Doesn't matter how well you've done before, if you haven't captured this point, nothing counts. Aliko on one health. He could put over his shoelaces and die. You know how I know I would be terrible at this? Whenever people are like chasing someone and they're really weak and they just look back at you, I'm just like, run away, he's gonna pipe you. It's just really instinctual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Damage uh, yeah. that will not come. Yeah. I just play around it as Kraken is running away, but no, Hoy's gonna get him. It's, it's always funny. Pyro jumps in here again. Somehow doesn't get. What? How is Extra Solar just doing this much work with the. What I, I consider to be the trash class of Pyro? It's kind of incredible. Well, somebody's got to be good at something eventually. Uh, throw enough pyros into a situation, eventually someone will kill someone else, probably with flames. Gotta be some people jumping behind right now. Maybe that's gonna be the, the beginning of a big flank. You know, maybe you want to do like the big crescent, uh, the star slit, and then come back in on middle and just really just outflank them. But <laughs> it looks like red right now with the two scouts that are just coming in there, causing so much mayhem behind line. Snowy will eventually get taken down, and now we see the the point yep. will change hands. Yeah, purple inexplicably surviving that last little confrontation. He's, uh, he's got some feet on the points, trying to see if we can uh, recapture again. Um, yep, he is uh, he's still alive, inexplicably. Uh, unlike, yeah. unlike alive, who's dead? Yeah, you know what my favorite uh, form of humor is? Uh, Deadpan. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, sorry, uh, yeah. Anyway. We see another banner coming up here, and uh, Leo is just not even gonna chase a scout. It's gonna wait for him to come back in here. And here comes uh, a full red offensive. He's going in here. There we go, extra solar. He got uh, a stomp kill onto Snowy. <laughs> uh, blind Goomba. Nice. That's why I love them so much. You can get those Goombas. I don't know if it's legal, but uh, I guess it is. Well, let's hope it is. Otherwise, this would be in a very bad place right now. I, I certainly, uh, I, I do feel for uh, the victim of those, the, the pangs of regrets they must be feeling right now are quite, uh, quite strong. Uh, Extra Solar finally getting uh, taken out for his trouble uh, and not for a date. Uh, it, it is for a funeral and it's his own. Uh, Liko being uh, brutally taken out two on one, Alive and Snowy doing their work together. Yeah, Elon Musk gonna come in here and see if he can block the point. He does have a scout with him, and uh, so far Snowy has not really <laughs> got a whole lot done. Elon's just gonna get swarmed by two scouts. That's basically what the scouts are, they're just these little flies that will just get you. So Hoy is just desperately trying to get out of there. It looks like he will make it, because that's what Hoy does. He just never dies. But I do want to point out that the Extra Soul is actually top scoring for his team. That's kind of crazy, considering that he's playing Pyro. Oh, uh, it, it, it's... He's, he's changed out to Sniper and he's just getting these really, really perfect hits uh, with a Joe of Piss, taking out, uh, just just uh, impacting scouts, impacting soldiers. It didn't work out that well in that situation though, it just wasn't a very good follow-up from his team. So, you know, maybe he's going to change his mind, or no, it looks like he's going to be in Sniper again. He might just uh, go in here again and try. It's, uh, One more gonna... time. One yeah. more time. Yeah, it's pretty decent uh, Gerardi is coming out here. But, uh, Blue's definitely yeah, winning this one so far. <laughs> but uh, Spans is in here as well. He's a sniper. And uh, he is juking pretty well. But now nah, Blue's definitely looking uh, in a position poised to take this point. And he 
Yep, the block will not come out yep. in time. And oh, the the Girardi completely whiffs there. That's unfortunate for Spence. Yeah, I'm seeing the, the back and forth. I, I was expecting one team to really kind of dominate this. Uh, and it looks like they haven't done that. I mean, there, there is a serious case of uh, you cap it, now I cap it. You cap it, now I cap it. <laughs> Absolutely. We do see a demo man and a scout behind lines. They're pretty weak. But, uh, you know, Red, if they're not careful, they're just going to get flanked from well, both sides, obviously. And here he comes. The, the double bomb in here. And Ballsy is not really committing either. So uh, this flank, it didn't do too much. It did block the point. And uh, now it's just kind of a messy fight. And here comes the banner. That could definitely do something. Yeah, it's just definitely going to just force yep. everyone from Red to just run away. Team is <laughs> rallying oh, around purple. that banner. What have you seen? What did Purple do? Oh. Uh, he just got... Uh, I think it was actually... Uh, I think it was Spans that got uh, just jumped up and just panned. <laughs> really, it was just perfectly timed by the demo man. Just jumped in there. But look at this alive. So weak, but so not dead. As I said, that he died. But anyway, <laughs> he, he did really well. Uh, stayed alive much longer than he should have. He had any right to. And here comes Red. They have a really commanding position. I'm just uh, taking time for them. They have about five seconds to, to catch up to the blue team. And that's looking definitely like uh, it's something that's going to happen. And a lot of players are dead. I think Blue have a really nice window right now to just kind of group up and then uh, start capping it out. Well, all he was trying to do is think, uh, sneak up into the players, into the Blue players uh, spawn area and managed to get taken out almost instantly for his trouble. Uh, there's a massive exchange going on at the moment in mid. Uh, both, uh, both types of colors of liquids being sprayed liberally around at the moment. Uh, Liko doing a nice little attack move there on a live and we're in overtime at the moment red team take this one Humpst, take it we are gonna go down to the wire it's 2-2 two -two at the moment literally everything to play for in this european grand final of ready steady pan are you ready for this peter i don't know if my body can handle it but i'm gonna try i'm definitely pretty sick of hearing all these pan shots all the time but let's go it's going to be good. Span's getting ready to just jump in there, but he's going to get jumped on his own uh, by two soldiers. That's what happens when you don't jump in time. You just get uh, juggled on yourself. And look at it. It's just everyone has just jumped onto the enemy side. It's just uh, the fighting is just going up on the sniper deck on blue side. And it looks like Red have actually done quite yep. a lot of work up there, but now blue's on the point. Absolutely. I really thought that Red were going to go taken out there, but uh, they managed to grab a health back at last minute uh, and uh, take the numbers. But you're right, uh, Blue, the uh, the uh, this experienced team have, have decided to get the timer ticking down for themselves. That was a nice pan from Spans. Gets, uh, just pins bees in a corner in midair and just pans him down. Good stuff. As uh, he's just trying to get some health underneath. There was a pretty nice uh, Girardi coming out from Red uh, in th at the beginning of the fight. That has a long pass though. But uh, a lot of players are still alive. It looks to me like Red's going to definitely win out on this fight. There is uh, maybe a single player behind. Uh, no, this is going to be this demo man jumping in. Uh, one against three. Can he do it? He cannot. Uh, not too surprising. A bit of an overextension there by Bees. And Red's going to cap it out for sure here. And uh, now... This, once again, it's super yeah. close in the final Absolute. round. Science of the Pans really didn't make uh, enough use of that cap there. Uh, oh no, Snowy! Snowy! <laughs> How Snowy. Do you do that? I don't know, Snowy! Snowy just fell to a terrible and dismal death. Oh, he did That's the classic thing where you walk off of a, a, a ledge, and then you jump, and then you think you have a double jump, but you don't. <laughs> because you walked off the ledge. But anyway, Big card, it's uh, on this uh, midpoint here. And... Uh, Silence of the Pans really taking it back there. They, they they got themselves together and worked as a unit. Even though the fact that they're all covered in milk at the moment, uh, that is not enough uh, to stop them from cap. Timer ticking down once again. We're, we're pretty much at uh, equal times though. Uh, two minutes to two minutes twenty. Uh, especially with this new push by Humst. Uh, trying to take back the point for themselves. I I don't remember the last time I've seen so many people covered in milk. Yeah, it's uh, 
Like, you have to go back to the 90s on those milk commercials to really get any kind of a similar thing. So there's a single sword on the point. It looks like they kind of forgot about a lie, but you can't do that. You just take down extra solar, and uh, now he's just going to be backed into a corner Absolutely. and taken down. It's the corners you got to watch out for. Corners and doorways, my greatest weakness. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a good place to be when there's an angry man with a pants <laughs> chasing you, that's for sure. You're, you're literally running yourself into a corner there. I'm surprised oh. we were not able to think of a pan-related word for running into a corner. Uh, if anyone knows of any, please write them into the usual address. What's the definition of a panhandler? Uh, someone who begs? Oh, that's a panhandler. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we have... Uh, once again, we see Red there one down one player, but they do have some high ground. Is high ground worth anything? Probably not. But we will see. So they definitely have the demo man just being uh, taken down there. Hoy, however, is going to get some kills here for his own as well. The banner comes out for blue team, and uh, I think everyone else is just going to get out of there, except for Elon Musk. He didn't get the memo, so he just jumps no. right into some, some very tanky players and dies. That's right. Elon Musk will never respect memos. We've, we've heard, this, uh, heard this in the past. And uh, we see today that it is true. Hoy doing a lovely little hop, skip, and a jump over the entirety of the players there. Managed to land himself on the point at the moment. Uh, trying to be effective. Uh, there is a red versus a blue skirmish going on in this mid. So many pans meeting so many faces. But it is not limited to pans. There was a beautiful uh, jetpack kill there. Uh, I'm sure that you uh, appreciated that moment then. It's the best. Love it so much. But anyway, Liko's on a 5k there. So he finally is going to get taken down. But uh, Red is definitely looking like they're going to be able to recap this. They need to do it. Elon Musk with the air pen. It's going to just get people down to, to Crater. Really nice job there. Pyro jumps in. Extra solo. Going to get a single kill before it gets taken down. It's kind of weird how when you jump in 1v4, like you can often get a kill because they can't hit you properly because of the way the game glitches out. But Blue, they're going to jump in here. They need to, to cap this out to actually win the match. And uh, there's no reason to delay that in any way. We just kind of want to win. But they, they are down the single player here. Exosola misses the, uh, the jump in here properly. And now we do see just a complete fight here. I don't think there's really anyone that's not in the fight right now. They're just all getting ready to try and cap it out. But there's so much space here that it is actually just room for everyone to just run around and try to paint each other. But Red have uh, bought themselves a bit of time here. For sure, they hold the point currently. And as long as this is just a fight where no one's capping the point, they benefit. Absolutely. Time ticking down for them. Well, a ballsy going up against Elon Musk and Oi and Purple and dies. Uh, nice try there, but uh, on the point, that's where the real action should be. Purple is out on his own. Uh, he cannot stand as an island. Uh, four players for silence uh, take him down and capture the point as well. Um, Hoy not being able to make a difference to himself. This is really it. This is coming at Three the Three seconds. I read they, they have three players. They, they dove onto the point here, and then now it's just going to be the full on flank. Everyone's in there. Liquids have been thrown. Everyone's healing. Well, this is just going to be one hell of a thing. There's even a banner up on the high ground. See Liko standing up there. If he gets taken down, the banner effect will uh, recede. And uh, that's exactly what happens. Oh, well, it looks like Blue, they have gotten it. Can anyone get there in time? It's ticking out. No. No, they cannot. What an extraordinary end there. That. That was the 2020. No, the 2018. I'm two years ahead of myself. <laughs> 2018. European Ready Steady Pan Grand Final. I, 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 are you as 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 stunned as I am about this 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 final score? Um, sure. I mean, it was a comeback, right? Like uh, they were down one map, and then they managed to come back in uh, a pretty close second map, and then uh, the third map just went down to the wire. So, yeah, they definitely had to to fight for it. That's for sure. Nothing came for free. Nothing at all. I think uh, it, it's absolutely true. Uh, truer words have never been said. If you're going to win, if you're going to fight, you've got to fight to win. There's no point coming in and trying not to do so. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at the logs, if we will. Let's see who the winners were behind the score. 
Yeah, it looks like Liko just uh, stepped up and did a whole stuff. Uh, top damage, top kills, very few deaths, only 15 deaths. So, so Liko is bigging it up, and then all the demos just follow, except for Spans. Uh, Purple had a relatively bad game. He had a lot of kills, still top kills for his team, but uh, a lot of deaths as well. Oh, death indeed. Purple, what were you doing, mate? You did so well in the first map. You you were my MVP for that first map, and, and now and now you've just fallen, fallen from grace. Purple, what, what are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? Silence of the Panda, just just incredible. They 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 won. They won in in the way that can only be done, can only be completed with a pan in your hands and a smile on your face. What did we say to Exosol? <laughs> did, did we... Oh, we're not doing interviews. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe another time. Just maybe win next year and you'll get one. I don't know how this works. Sorry, um, but yeah, just uh, it's really interesting to see. As far as I can tell, there's no real pattern between which class is good and which is not. It just all comes down to the player and the teamwork and who's who has the most memes in their heart. Yep, uh, Hoomster did bring us a meme in a, in their name, and uh, tragically, uh, Silence of the Pans just out memed them. I, I think that's outplayed them, out memed them, uh, out damaged them. Uh, what what more can be said about these teams? I don't know, not a whole lot. Whole lot. It's uh, especially not by me because I know nothing. Indeed, <laughs> and I know next to nothing, possibly even less than nothing. Right, I think it is time for us to to bid adieu. Um, there's there's. Do you have any parting pan related words? Um, it was absolute pandemonium, and I enjoyed every second of it. But I do not want to see a pan like the next many hours of my life, that's for sure. That's very true of me as well. Uh, any shout outs, Peter, do you want to give uh, before we before we close this one off? Um, I guess I will mention that I have a demo call on the ETF12 website for um, uh, for normal 6v6. Uh, you're allowed to use kills that are not pans, but it must be from an official. Uh, and you can send it there. I will just remind you of that. But other than that, uh, no, just thanks for having me. and. Uh, Congratulations to the winners and also for the second place team. It was fun. It was extraordinary. I I, I second your your pan related uh, uh, lack of uh, desire to be appropriately uh, surrounded by. I think I can see a few pans, but I don't want to hear any more. Uh, a quick shout out to to Vito for for stepping up his game and and producing uh, probably one of the most amazing matches of his uh, his young life. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure that he will agree with me there that uh, that was extraordinary um, thank you to everyone who's watched, everyone who's listened uh, thank you to our patrons and thank you uh, to our subscribers of Twitch, uh, we love you all and uh, whatever you're doing this evening I please, I, I want to tell you whatever you're doing this evening, make sure that you have yourself a good meal and please don't pan fry it <laughs>